We're asked to use the graph of f of x below to determine the function outputs and inputs. We're first asked to determine f of two, where two is the input of the x value, and the function value or output is equal to the corresponding y value. To find this function value, because we find the inputs or x values along the horizontal axis, we first locate two on the horizontal axis, which is here, and now we find the point on the graph where the input or x value is two, so we go straight up to the graph. This is the point on the graph where the input or x value is two. Notice how the corresponding y value or output is positive four. The ordered pair for this point is two comma four, which means when the input or x value is two, the output or function value is four, and therefore f of two is equal to four. Next, we want to determine f of zero. Zero is the input or x value, we want to find the corresponding output or y value. We locate zero on the horizontal axis, which is here, and then we go straight up to the graph to find the corresponding point where the input or x value is zero. Notice how the corresponding output or y value is one. The ordered pair for this point is zero comma one, which means when the input or x value is zero, the output or function value is one. F of zero is equal to one. And now for the next two examples, we're asked to determine x of the input for the given function values or outputs. So here we're given f of x equals eight, where f of x is the output or y value, we want to determine x or the input. So because we find the outputs or y values along the vertical axis, we first locate eight on the vertical axis, which is here, and now we find the point on the graph where the output or y value is eight, so we move to the right. This is the point on the graph where the output or y value is eight. And notice how the input or x value is three. This order pair indicates when the function value or y value is eight, the input or x value is three. So if f of x equals eight, x equals three. Next we're given f of x equals two, where two is the output or y value. So now we locate two on the vertical axis which is here. Now we find the point on the graph where the output or y value is two, so we move to the right. This is the point on the graph where the output or y value is two. Notice how the input or x value is one. This ordered pair indicates when the output or function value or y value is two, the input or x value is one, and therefore if f of x equals two, x equals one. I hope you found this helpful.